Just more than 11,000 people will be on Saturday's home opener for Mizzou football. It's not a lack of interest, but MU Athletics giving Faro Field a new look in the age of COVID-19. I went inside the stadium to see how Mizzou is making it safe for fans. What is, uh, what Tony Workus runs the game day experience for MU Athletics. Sort of they work with the company Dimensional Innovations to come up with the safe game day experience. Masks will be required the whole time at the stadium. All tickets will be digital and each of them has a zone listed on it. There's also going to be sidewalk stickers installed at each gate to help guide people one, which zone gate they're entering, and then also reminding them to physically distance while they're in line. Work has encouraged people to wear their mask as soon as they park and said that building staff will be enforcing it inside the stadium. Can you get kicked out of the stadium for not wearing a mask? So that's that's not what we're looking to do. We're looking for maximum compliance. So if, if someone chose to not wear a mask, it would be handled similar to any other policy violations. Um, so it's not like the mask thing would take a different approach. Um, it would be similar to probably if you decided that you were going to start smoking inside of the game. Inside the concourse, more signs pointing out zones. Hand sanitizing stations will be placed throughout the concourse and just before a fan takes their seats. Concession stands will all offer the same thing in each zone and have ground markers for people to space out. We are actually going cashless to concession stands this year, specifically to try to reduce that touch point. Orga says they want fans to stay within their zone the whole game. Dimensional's work shows fans' so biggest there, concern is a lack of soap you know, in bathrooms and enter. listed bathrooms as one of the highest risk areas. They called for Mizzou to close off some sinks and urinals to ensure distancing. So but work has instead and installed and barriers between them. So, so the goal is to make sure we're reducing lines as much as possible. So in our conversations, that's where we looked at does it make more sense to close urinals off, but then the flip side is then you create more lines. Um, so that's why installing the barriers, the goal is we can keep people moving through as quickly as possible and avoid any pinch points. Seats are sectioned off by black seat backs and kept six feet apart. There are no rules on coming and going from the seats. Workus asked fans be patient as they left the stadium to make sure people can space out. You can read those full plans Dimensional recommended on our website. And later tonight, ABC 17 Sports' Natalie Jones will tell us how athletic director Jim Sterk feels about the first game day.